Um, Minister, anybody who spends any time at all in, in my company will learn after a very short space of time that I was a, a teacher and indeed a principal in, in a school in the northeast inner city of Dublin, uh, which effectively changed uh, my life and the way I, I view the world, and I learned more from those children than, than I ever taught them. But a great bit of advice I got when I became a school principal was from uh, a great colleague of mine, a man called Mark Candon, who said that regardless of any decision that you make, and you're going to have conflict with your, you know, your, your, your staff colleagues, you're going to have conflict potentially with the parent body, you're going to have conflict definitely with the Department of Education, maybe the Board of Management uh, and with others. But if at the centre of every decision you make is a child, that nobody will ever question your integrity. So make sure that at the centre of every decision that you make is a child or our children. Now, when we analyse our education system from the beginning to the end, it is very hard to come to the conclusion that we have constructed an education system that has a child, children or students at the centre of the decisions that we make. If you were to start with a blank sheet of paper, which I believe we should do, if you were to start with a blank sheet of paper, you would not construct an education system like the one that we have now. The second level system ends with a leaving cert, if you get that far. Many young people don't get that far, and because of this pandemic, we have lost a generation of young people at risk, vulnerable young people who don't have to be in school after the age of 16. There's no legal requirement for them, be, for them to be there. And as a result of the pandemic and the lack of in-school learning, they've been lost to the system. But we have a Leaving Cert that is outdated and no longer fit for purpose and needs to be overhauled radically because it does not have young people, the students, the human being at the centre of the reason why we have a Leaving Cert. We have an education system that perpetuates inequality. It perpetuates inequality. It is rooted in inequality. If you go to Finland and you talk to Finnish uh, politicians, they will say that we had a we had a discussion in our society about our education system and we tried to find the, the, the theme or the belief system that should underpin our education system and we came up with it. It's this radical idea called equality and everybody buys into it. Far left, far right, centre right, centre left, centrists, they all believe that, that equality is what should underpin their education system. In Ireland, we believe that it's choice which is a nice sounding word, but what it leads to is competition and what it leads to is schools competing against each other and what it leads to is, in my constituency at least, and I know this happens around the country, open nights when we used to have them in September and October, which encourage parents to send their child uh, to this school. And that leads to a race for points and that leads to things like league tables and that leads to uh, you know, this really stripped down, nasty discussion as to how one school is more successful than another. And that leads to a race of parents to try to get their kids into a certain secondary school because it has a certain reputation. And in a given community, you have then a league table of certain uh, second level schools, which inevitably at the bottom of that league table, if you like, in a local community, is a school that has a disproportionate number of traveller young people, a disproportionate, disproportionate number of migrants, a disproportionate number of young people with special educational needs, and a disproportionate number of, of young people who have been um, uh, suspended or expelled or moved on from other uh, second level schools. And we are all willing to stand over that school existing because I don't want to say we are all, but many in society are willing for that school to exist because there is a race for parents to get their young people into the school at the top of the ladder. It's not fair, it doesn't work, and it's killing any sort of imagination or uh, goodwill amongst students, 
and amongst teachers, teachers who are basically given the impression from parents and from society, why are you wasting your time talking about stuff that isn't on the curriculum? And then this machine that parents feel they have to put their, their kids through, which is, well, do you know something? I know there's all this, this extracurricular stuff that the school is talking about, but I'm going to send you to a grind school because I can afford it. So the Leaving Cert at the moment, what it does, it makes young people good at doing a Leaving Cert. It doesn't make you good at anything else. So I think we need to totally overhaul it. I think we need to radically change it. I need to, we need to be brave as a collective, a political collective, at this day and age, to say the Leaving Cert is no longer fit for purpose. Because, Minister, it's pretty much exactly the same as it was when I did it. And I did it in 1994. And I think most people who have gone through the Leaving Cert year are still slightly traumatised by what they had to do in order to get past it. And that's if you made it that far. On the issue of the Castles report and what the Minister has referred to. This is the thing about Irish education. You know, we always talk about the price tag that comes with it. Most of the discussions uh, that happen on the school gate or between teachers and parents or principals and parents are always about money. The number of, of, of times people will say to me, you know, if I didn't have to talk about money, I could actually talk about education. I'm always asking about a fundraiser. I'm always talking about book money. I'm always talking about the voluntary contribution or being asked about all these things. And I wish I could just talk about education and development of my child. But when it comes to third level or further education, and reference here has been made to Donna O'Malley in the 60s, you only have to go back to Neve Brannock in the 90s to find a template of political will to abolish third level fees into which the funding was found from a progressive uh, taxation system which is how these things should be done. So I would suggest to you Minister, look with the best of goodwill and I believe there is goodwill across this house and I welcome the opportunity to speak on this from the motion that's been laid down. There is a fantastic opportunity for us here to grab the initiative because never before actually in my political lifetime has education been at the top of the political agenda as it is now. And never before was there a thirst within the Irish populace, I believe, uh, or the education body, from teachers, from parents, from students, to radically overhaul what we do. And we shouldn't be married, welded to the Leaving Cert because it's the only thing we know. So let's take the opportunity to radically overhaul it. Let's take the opportunity to radically reform it. Let's take the opportunity to make uh, third level further ed absolutely free. And then at least then we could return to that basic principle of putting the child at the centre of every decision that we make.